This old world of Africa, this continent of desert lands and deep forests and vast grassy plains which hold the world's largest remaining herds. From Africa come these wild animal portraits in sound. We're listening to a lion family in the warm evening sun. A big male is keeping contact with the females of his pride before the nighttime search for food begins. This is the sound which gazelles and antelopes on the plains recognize as the lion prides move into position, ready to kill. Overhead, crown cranes, some of the world's most beautiful birds, give warning that lions are around. In a strange ritual, the flying birds point downwards with their long necks, marking the position of the predators. From the animals out on the grasslands, there's almost no reaction to these calls. They know that lions make no sound whatever when the hunt is actually on. When it comes, the kill is made in a lightning manoeuvre. A single swift blow from a lioness's paw is generally enough to provide a feast for the whole pride. The male is the first to eat. carcass is torn apart, and it's at times like this that the rare family quarrels break out. But the big lion eats steadily on, growling his special warning that others should keep away until he's had his fill. Thank <laughs> you. 
the lionesses who've worked as a team in the strategy of the kill sit back patiently, but a hungry young cub voices his need, fretting as he waits his turn. If he approaches the carcass now, he'll get a sharp reminder about lion etiquette from his father's big paw. After the feast, social life of the pride is lazy, but the driving force of continuity is always present. Eat, sleep, and propagate the species. In the hot afternoon, a big, maned lion mates with one of the females of the pride. Mm -hmm. 